Tim, what do you want to say to your fans in America? Love ya. Oasis was a band I wanted to hate. They were on the cover of all those snobby British music magazines, um, and they had so much attitude that, that I wanted to despise them, but I couldn't because they were a great band and they made some great records. All their song names sounded like party drinks. It's like, uh, yeah, I'll have a champagne supernova, a wonder wall, uh, two Harvey Wallbangers, and a Long Island iced tea. Thanks. They were going to be the next Beatles, and they were going to take over the world, and they were going to be wonderful and have their wonder wall. We said this with no one because we're the greatest band. Gallagher, two angry, drunk brothers. What's more entertaining than two English brothers who hate each other, fighting all the time? You know, we might argue, but everyone argues, you know, it's not a big deal. Oasis are a very, very bad-tempered band. Why so grumpy, Oasis? Why? Maybe a nice smile. And I think they would have been better in some, you know, show business outfits with musical notes on them. You know, big spangly jackets with musical notes. That's what Oasis was missing, if you ask me. You gotta roll with it. it was this constantly unfolding soap opera where they were... What someone was quitting, someone was drunk and didn't remember to show up to the show. Noel had to go on, who wasn't the singer, who had to go on and play. And Liam sat in the balcony and got drunk and smoked cigarettes and was like, Come on, the shades, penguins! Wait, it's me, Mum! You know, he sat there and he was heckling him the whole time. Shut up. I think they just imploded, you know, they just got too big too quickly. Then the whole world realized, we don't really need Oasis, do we? We just said shut up and we haven't seen Oasis since. I hope they come back. I'd like to see them duking it out some more, that'd be great. Buzzkill.